take a look at how to compare an experimental protein structure to the same protein structure predicted by the AlphaFold software. So we'll look at a nitric oxide synthase structure from human. The PDBID code is 3NOS. It's a dimer. Here's what it looks like. And let's this is the experimental structure from X-ray crystallography. Let's see what it looks like uh, from the AlphaFold database. So the protein data bank has a database of structures predicted by AlphaFold, and we're going to bring one of those up. So I go to Tool Structure Prediction AlphaFold. This is a new tool that was just added to Chimera X, so you'll need a new daily build um, of Chimera X to use it from September 2021 or newer. It brought up this panel. And uh, I choose the sequence that I want to fetch th the structure for. I could paste a sequence or use a Uniprot identifier, or it can just use the sequence from the experimental structure. So I'll choose the experimental structure to chains A and B. Uh, let me actually color those two chains just so you see the dimer well. Those are the two uh, chains. So uh, back to the AlphaFold uh, dialog, if I press fetch, it will, it will load the, from the PDB database of these pre-computed AlphaFold models, um, the AlphaFold prediction. So I'm hiding the experimental structure. Here's the prediction. It color codes it blue. Dark blue is very confident. Uh, light blue, less confident. Yellow and red are even less confident. So um, AlphaFold made those predictions for each residue, how confident it thinks it, it is of the how, how is that the prediction is correct? Um, if we look in the log, um, uh, the fetch created this panel, which tells us a little bit about the AlphaFold model. It says it came from this gene, NOS3 human. That's the nitric oxide synthase. That's the Uniprot name. It says the root mean squared deviation is 0.75. That's between this predicted structure and the experimental structure. So, and it's C alpha atoms only. So very, uh, very close match. Um, the alpha fold prediction only predicted the monomer and this fetching tool that we just used fetched two copies of it and aligned it to the experimental structure. So alpha fold did not predict the dimer dimeric form. Um, okay, so let's uh, color this alpha fold model to look at a few, uh, look at the differences with the experimental model. Uh, I can do that by uh, pressing this coloring button in the AlphaFold uh, panel. And uh, first I will press the little gray uh, square to color the entire model gray. Let me bring back the experimental structure here. Let me simplify the view. I'm going to hide the uh, ligands that are shown as atoms. I'll hide all the atoms. And I think I'll show the helices as cylinders to simplify the view a little bit further. I can do that with preset cylinders. And now let me try to color the regions, uh, the residues where the two structures differ. If I go to the coloring panel, I can choose from this menu the C alpha um, distance, distances between the two structures greater than three angstroms. Let me change it to two angstroms because these structures are very close. And then I'll press this little red color square to color red, just those residues. So those positions that you see in red now are, are, have the C alpha at least two angstroms away between the prediction and the experimental model. Um, and it's surprising, actually let me click that one more time. If we look in the status line, there are only 16 residues out of 800 total residues here. So it's a dimer. There are eight residues in each structure that are more than two angstroms away. And we see they're in these turns. Um, so um, these, this could um, indicate a mistake in the prediction, but it could also indicate a mistake in the x-ray structure. This structure is at 2.4 angstroms resolution, and it's easy to misfit the density at that resolution. Uh, Tristan Kroll, who does a lot of analysis and building of structures at 2 to 3 angstroms resolution, has been using AlphaFold and said, and when it says when he compares them to experimental structures and sees differences, it's often been the case that the alpha fold prediction was actually right and the experimental structure had a mistake in fitting the density. 
All right, what else can we see uh, by comparing these two structures? Let me choose from this menu in the coloring tool missing structure. And I'll press the green square here. This is colored the regions in the alpha fold structure where we don't have any coordinates in the experimental structure. Okay, the experimental sample had these residues, but they just weren't resolved. So we see the tail of the structure is all in green. Uh, that's the alpha fold prediction. So it's not surprising that is perhaps disordered and not resolved in the experimental structure. And we'll also see this loop here in green um, that also is not resolved. And we can see this pink dashed line, which is how Chimera X displays missing residues in experimental structures. All right, let's look at one more interesting thing that AlphaFold can do for us, the AlphaFold prediction. I'm going to load the full length uh, nitric oxide synthase st structure from AlphaFold. Um, it's not possible to do that with the panel here. It fetched the portion of the structure that matched the sequence in this experimental structure. That experimental structure was only about 500 amino acids, but the full length is the full length of this gene is 1200 amino acids. To fetch it, I can say AlphaFold match number one. And then I have an option, I say trim false. That means don't cut it down to the size of this experimental structure. Okay, so this has loaded two more copies of the alpha fold prediction. Let me hide the, um, the other structures, the experimental one and the previous fetch. So um, we see the middle domains were seen in the experimental structure. There's some large um, loops where it didn't, AlphaFold didn't predict any order. Um, you see that often, and it may maybe those regions really are disordered or only ordered when they interact with other proteins. And you see other some big domains on the side here um, that weren't part of the experimental structure. If we look at Uniprot at this gene, it shows um, what parts of the gene have experimental structures, and only this central part has experimental structures available. So these domains on the side, um, the alpha fold prediction is, um, is a good way to look at these, uh, you know, possible, possible um, structure of, of those domains when experimental structures are lacking. There are probably also homology models from other species available for, for those, these domains on the sides. Um, the, actual, um, the actual configuration of the dimer here I would not trust that these extra domains are in the right position in the dimer. Uh, you can see that the interface between those extra domains and the central part where we have an experimental structure is in yellow and orange, so the prediction isn't very confident, and the interface doesn't look very tight either. Okay, that gives you an idea how to uh, use structures from the AlphaFold database uh, in Chimera X.